Anybody put in an eated minder before to solve a problem? Yeah. Uh, yeah, many of you, right? A lot of people put in eated minders to solve a problem and don't really know what that thing did, but it made a picture again, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it made sound again. And there is no more audio dropouts. Um, and uh, so the display sends it eated to the source. The source can only read the eating. Keep that in mind. The display sends the eated to the source. The source can only read and eat it. That's real important to what all these problems are caused by. So if we look at this diagram here, this is our world. We always have repeaters in the middle, always. Because that's how you get multi-zone control, right? You have everything connected to one centralized device, i.e. a matrix switch, an EVR. The TV can only send the EDID one level. That's it. it sends the EDID to the next device, right? So it sends it to your EVR. And we have no idea what the EVR sends to the source. And that's where you get an EDID mismatch, you get pink screen, green screen, color space mismatches, you get audio dropout, you get no picture, you get all kinds of things. That's why. It, it never happens when you have the source connected to the TV. It's never an issue. Because that's how the television was designed and the source was designed for 99.5% of the population that never use us, <laughs> you know, that's, that's not our part of the market. So we need, to, we need to keep this in mind and technicians in the field, this is the reason I, this is very near and dear to my heart because we keep adding tech support people at, at our company and that is expensive. And mostly what they do on these tech support calls is work guys through eating issues.